Hi, I'm Glenn Johansson. Welcome to Light River. I'm excited to be able to give you a tour of our new factory and factory built network process here in Concord, California. Leading that tour today is going to be Francesca Campagna, one of our sales engineers who is very familiar with every aspect of our facility and the entire process we follow here. Hi, my name is Francesca Campagna. I'm one of the sales engineers here at Light River Technologies. We're gonna go ahead and start our full facility tour in our top of the line interoperability lab where Aaron's gonna show us what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. So Aaron, can you go ahead and tell us about the Light River Interoperability Lab? Yeah. Here in the Light River Interoperability Lab, we test multi-vendor next generation equipment to ensure it truly is best of breed before we sell and deploy it. Here in this lab, we have over $50 million worth of fully functioning, but non-production equipment. This lets us test niche use cases or ambitious ideas before that equipment carries mission critical traffic. We've tested how different line systems from various tier one vendors such as Sienna, Infinera, or Nokia interact with each other, as well as how legacy optics mesh with their newer, more up-to-date versions. We also do various proof of concepts to ensure the equipment our customers receive is exactly what they need. So now we're in the first room of our factory built network, the assembly room. And Javier is gonna go ahead and tell us what exactly is the assembly room? Well, the assembly room is where we receive equipment from our warehouse team, and then we go ahead and mount the equipment. So that will mean having to physically rack the chassis, solve the cards, and then run power to the local fuse panels. What are the benefits of having the assembly room? There's really a lot of key advantages, but one of the benefits to it is inventory control. Generally, our vendors will give us anywhere between three to 20 cardboard boxes for a single site. So if you're doing multiple sites, you can imagine how much trash that will generate. If you're out on the field, you can imagine that having to take care of that much trash can become an entire orgy. Can you tell us what are the differences are of installing this site out in the field versus here in the assembly room? Definitely. Aside from being able to get rid of our trash in an efficient manner, we're also able to look for any kind of fault in the equipment. Whether that's physical harm during transport or a software issue, we're able to request a replacement from our vendors. Now, generally, that'll take anywhere between four to 15 business days. And if you're out in the field, that's time you don't have. So that'll require having you to do a retrip. Our ability through the factory built network to front load all of the work here in house enables us to spend a lot more time optimizing the network under real world conditions, which is often its own set of problems. So what's the next step in the factory built network process? Well, we will unscrew the rack from its step position and go ahead and roll it into our integration room. the moving rack that Javier just talked about and attached it here in the integration room. This is bringing us into the next stage of our factory build process, which Grant's here to tell us about. Sure. So from the assembly room, the fully assembled racks are brought into the integration room and attached to the overhead supports above. Once that's completed, the individual shelves are powered, at which point our engineers will log in and check for any DOA cards. If any DOAs are identified, we'll process the RMAs while the equipment is here, as opposed to doing that process in the field. Once that's completed, our engineers will install all of the internal fibers, at which point they will scope and clean every single fiber face and every single port to ensure that there are no dirty connections that might cause issues down the road. Our engineers will also install custom fiber labels that note the A and Z endpoints of each fiber connection. Once that has been completed for every single node in the long haul route, we can then connect the amplifiers to each other and run A to Z and Z to A traffic tests across the whole network. This serves as a final validation to check the hardware, the provisioning of each node, and every single connection on the full route. The equipment is ready to be boxed up and shipped out to site. So right behind us, we have one long haul network. Grant, can you tell us how many long haul routes can we fit in this integration space? Sure, so with this awesome new expansion, we're able to fit 200 total racks 
which is uh, the equivalent of about 40 long haul routes at once. We're gonna go ahead and talk to Brian now, who's gonna tell us about the process that we took for this expansion. So Brian, I know that you were heavily involved in the Light River factory built network upgrade and the expansion of our facility. Can you tell us exactly what was involved to facilitate that expansion? Yeah, so we added about 2,000 square feet of space between the integration and the assembly rooms. And that was how much space we needed to be able to implement our rolling racks that Javier mentioned earlier, as well as break out our processes between the two sides. So along with that uh, expansion, we were able to do a couple other things. The first thing was we were able to add ESD coating on the floor, which allows our staff to use heel straps instead of wrist straps, which is a big time saver. And then we also were able to break out our uh, rack location into a more segmented pod type arrangement. And this allows us to uh, separate projects that might be sensitive for some of our customers. And it allows us to distribute things like power and management connections a little easier, a little more how they are in the real world. Okay. So given the capacity that we have for all of the extra equipment, what did we have to do exactly to upgrade our power? So for DC power, we ended up re replacing our DC power plant. So we put in this new unit here that's behind us that's capable of producing about 150,000 watts of DC power. And to go with our uh, PCI projects and more data center focused projects, we also added um, 60 amps of AC power to every pod. That way we can support both AC and DC projects since we're starting to work on a lot of projects that are mixing the two powers. Now that the customer's network has been completed in the IFBM process, the customer has the opportunity to come into the training room to get a hands-on learning experience on their specific network. Nick, can you tell us about the unique training opportunity that Light River provides for our customers? Well, Francesca, as a sales engineer, you know that there's hundreds of different card sets and configurations. Our customers love the IFBM training that we do here at Light River because we're able to customize the training to their specific network. We we simulate their production network by utilizing fiber spools and attenuation. We also are able to enroll all of their nodes on Netflix so that they can manage the network end to end. Can you tell us why Light River is better equipped to have these trainings on these next generation networks? Well, one of the biggest industry trends we're seeing these days is disaggregation. The idea of buying a transponder from one vendor and an optical line system from a second vendor. Well, here at Light River, we're vendor agnostic, so we're actually able to lead the training across the entire network. By utilizing Netflix, it also manages that network end to end from vendor A through vendor B. The last stop in our IFBN tour is the warehouse. This is where the customer's equipment is now custom created in these Light River design crates, where the cards are slotted and the fibers are still connected. Dave, can you tell us what quality processes were implemented to ensure that this customer's network is ready to go out to site? Sure. Uh, before it actually gets packed, we uh, take uh, photos and we go through about 40 steps of checklist items, and then we pack it up and it's ready for installation. Building networks in our factory is just one part of the industry-leading intelligent factory-built network process. This patented methodology starts with design and architecture. Next, the network is factory-built. During this build phase, Light River also fully tests the fiber plant and verifies site locations. This pre-deployment effort sets the stage for Light River to perform on-site installation in an expedited timeframe with the highest quality. Customers gain tremendous value from the factory-built network process, which includes 50% faster project timelines, higher performing networks, and a 60% reduction in internal support and resources. Many of the largest network operators trust Light River to design and build their networks. Give us a call or contact us at lightriver.com for more information. Thank you for taking the tour with me.